Hey guys, today we are trying out three new products over um, look my voice and hair and everything. I have COVID. We talk about it a little bit in the video, but I'm going to do a whole video just explaining everything, going into more detail. But today we are trying out the, the Flower Beauty Red Carpet Secret Eye Bright Palette. We also have a very interesting product, also from Flower. This is the Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. So this is supposed to be a spray powder that mattifies everything. We give this a nice good go. And I also got a highlighter. This is the Stellar Prismatic Highlighter in Blaze. So we try out these new products. <laughs> this is an interesting video, you guys. This, uh, this goes a, a whole different way, trust me, because I was not expecting it. I was not expecting it to at all go the way it did. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, so this is in the shade medium. And you guys, it is crazy dark. I don't know why it is so dark. But from what I've read, you're supposed to take this little tool here. And I guess you get some of it on here. Okay, that looks really lumpy. Let me read this again. Maybe I'm supposed to put it on with my finger and then use this thing. No? Using our cooling treatment wand, apply a thin layer of primer balm to under eyes and massage. Okay, so there's some on here. And I'm just going to start putting it under the eyes. And then gently kind of massaging it in. I have foundation on a little bit and that's it. So we will see. I don't know about this little wand. I mean it feels okay. I guess it spreads that balm all right. I don't know. I, I don't know you guys. This is kind of odd. Okay, that's all I am doing with that. I'll use my fingers now. The balm feels okay. Feels like a balm. Now I'm just going to take this first shade because the second shade is far too dark. So I'm going to take this and just use my finger. Hopefully I can use my fingers and it works. This feels very moisturizing. Feels like there's a good bit of moisture in there. And then I'm just going to start dotting it and pushing it in with my finger. Okay, there's more coverage than I thought for sure. It's blending out nicely. It's not super patchy. It's just dark. It's way darker than I would use for my under eye. Again, a lot of moisture there. But you can see this eye to this eye. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's just a little too dark for me. So, I'm sure you guys could tell by the title. Um, I have COVID and my husband and I have had it for quite some time now. Um, he had it first and then I ended up with it, yay. I'll do another video and really get into a lot more detail of it because I don't want it to take away from this. But of course, that's why my voice is so nasally and all of that good stuff. But we've been quarantined for quite some time, you guys. It's been rough to say the least. It has been rough. But like I said, I'll do a whole nother video on that I really want to talk about these products and I don't want it to take away from it so we're gonna focus on the products today so here it is up close it looks really good surprisingly I like the tone of it I would just have to go with the light shade and I'm more tan so I thought medium would work and it doesn't it's just a little bit too dark and that's only the first shade so there's no way the second shade would work at all but what we can do with that is try to use it as a bronzer 
So I'm gonna grab a little brush here, put it in there. And this is creamy, but I don't think it's overly creamy. It's, pr it's, it's pretty decent. Yeah, the shade's just a little off for a bronzer for me, but we can still make it work a little bit. This is a powder, you guys, but uh, I kind of hate to put that on my under eyes because you see it, it's a highlighter. So I'm not going to put that on the under eyes. That's just not, or maybe we'll do one in one. Let's do that. Okay, let's just try. I have nowhere to go because I'm quarantined. So, and it says using the cooling treatment wand, apply a thin layer of primer balm to under eyes. Massage and help blur imperfections. Mix the two concealer shades and blend to achieve your perfect match. Finish with our universal brightening powder for a soft natural glow. But this is like, it's a highlighter. It's like a soft highlighter highlighter yep I would never I would never put no I would never recommend that or I would never tell you to put this on your under eyes a highlighter is just going to accentuate your pores your texture it's just gonna make everything look worse under there older no 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 you guys Oh yeah, that's just a highlighter. Okay. This is the product I was so interested about. And we do have a highlighter here as well, but we'll bring that in in a few. This is the Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. A powder spray. It says that, it says forget the mess. The spray on setting powder helps control shine and absorbs excess oil, leaving skin with a soft matte finish. So we're gonna try that out, you guys. I haven't set the face at all on this side. Let me grab a book. Of course, I don't have a small book. We have a whole freaking big ass notebook, but we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna shake this up, and I want to see if this literally is a powder in a can. I want to see if it mattifies. So I'm gonna hold this to half the face, so right about here, and then we're gonna spray this bad boy. All right, ready? Okay, that felt like nothing on my face, like nothing. <laughs> All right, hold on. You guys, did anything come out? Truly, did anything come out? <coughs> Probably shouldn't be spraying that. I'm not sure anything is coming out. There we go. Now something came out. It did not come out the two times I sprayed it. All right, I'm gonna really shake this up good. And we're gonna do this for the third time. Ready? And nothing came out again. I don't get it. You can see it right here. Like it's an actual white speck on my hand. Like I can feel it. I don't get it. But nothing's really coming out on this skin. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. That other few times it did come out. So it does mattify, just not a whole lot. You can still see. All right, let me try this side now. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna have to use that more. I just don't know. I shouldn't be breathing this in. Because, man, I'm sick to begin with, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna set the under eye on this side because it still looks like duty. I'm actually going to try to set it on this side because it looks really bad where that is a highlighter. So let's do that really quick. All right, so I tried to set that as best I could, you guys. I'm gonna take the powder in the palette that's supposed to be a setting powder. No, no, no. We're going to put that right here. 
you guys can see it is more of a oh my gosh you guys it looks awful now it just does not work well with that spray like it just took it off can you guys see that oh this side too it's just not as bad where we did not put as much as we did over here so no that no this is a total fail it would I'm glad I'm not going anywhere because it completely broke it apart all underneath here all over here I hope you guys can see that because it looks terrible terrible so I also got this highlighter I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys it's very chunky like can you guys see how chunky that is it looks terrible like there's whole big flecks of like glitter uh, I hope you guys can see it it's literally giant flecks of glitter so I typically would not put this on my skin no way no how but we're not going anywhere we're not doing anything so I will put some on but look at that you guys it's just giant big glitter flecks oh flower oh you guys look at that you guys this is such a mess it's insane look at this wow all right let's blend it in because you know we want more of that oh yeah even blended in it still looks awful why not why not just why why not this is such a fail video. Well, wow. wow, you guys. Okay. If you're like going to like a party or a rave or you're young and that's what you love, then maybe you'll like this. But otherwise, I just don't see like any huge glitter chunks on your face. And if that's your thing, girl, you do you. But it's not my thing. And this looks terrible. Okay, let me throw on some mascara really quickly and then we'll just talk about this as a whole. So I thought I was going to get makeup on and just feel like a whole new woman. But this makeup was like the worst. Like it was beyond bad. Like, no. No. So, let's talk about them one by one. The concealer palette, I'll try to use it again. Try to use it with a... Can I help you? Get out. See? My husband's quarantined too and he just walks in and out. Anyway, so I'll try this with some lighter makeup, but like I said, the shades are really, really dark. Surprisingly dark. I don't know why they're that dark, but the formula seemed to be okay if you have oily skin probably not but i will try it again just for the sake of trying it the powder ruined everything this spray powder is um, garbage i will try it again maybe it just didn't work with what i had on my skin today but i, I, I i'm i'm gonna bet it's a just a huge no-go but i i'm gonna try but guaranteed it sucks and this is the worst highlighter I've had in years. I'm not into the super crazy from space highlight. I'm over that. And that's what this is. Plus it's super chunky and gross. So this was not a hit at all, you guys, at all. And you know, where I have COVID, I thought this was just gonna be awesome and I was gonna feel better. And no, all the products sucked. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So I don't recommend any of these. But like I said, I will update you guys um, about the products and I will do another video talking about wonderful, not wonderful COVID. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.